Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we are going to make these adorable gift holder ornaments. Now these are the perfect size to put a couple candy canes in, a lip balm, or a gift card. Something small to show your appreciation, something you can do on any budget. These cost about 25 cents to make, if that. You probably already have materials you can use at home, and um, I just think they're a really nice way to give a gift this holiday season. Or in the case of the mittens, you could really just do them all winter long for different classroom projects, or um, anytime you want a little something that you can give a gift in. And since it hold, it will uh, hang on a tree, it doesn't take up a lot of space, or if you're in an in apartment and you, you know, want to have something to hold, a gift card or something like that, it can hang on the tree and not be in the way. And I just think it's really cute and it's also reusable. So I have a couple options here. You can do a Christmas stocking or you can do a mitten. I think this would be fun to do with a groups of children, either in scouting groups or Sunday school or classrooms. So um, I want to keep it really affordable and easy and also kids safe. So you can use hot glue for this, but we're actually gonna use felt glue uh, by Beacon. You could also use a fabric glue, something thick though because um, felt can be tricky if you use just a regular school glue that that glue so thin it wants to seep into the fibers and then it doesn't grab so it doesn't hold your pieces together so keep that in mind so what I'm gonna have in the video description is a, uh, a download where you can download my templates and then cut them out and use them in your project and um, I just gosh I think these are so cute it's such a great way to use buttons and trims and things you already have so uh, look in your stash and see what you have already so what I'm using here is some pre-stiffened felt. This is the Arteza brand and it's pretty um, affordable. I saw it on Amazon for like $19 for 50 sheets, so it's about 50 cents a sheet. Um, or I have a coupon code for the Arteza website, which is frugal10, and I'll put that in the video description as well. So what you want to do is take a piece of sheet uh, felt, this is about a half a sheet here, and I like to actually fold it in half, and you can see because it's pre-stiffened, it's going to kind of um, crease a little bit, but it, the creases won't stay, so don't worry. And then all I do is I just hold the template onto the felt, and I cut around it with um, my fabric scissors. And the reason I do that instead of drawing it is just because I don't want to have have any um, lines on the edges. Of course, if that happens, just you know, turn them the other way around. And I cut, uh, I cut this on a fold, so I'm going to end up with two pieces that are the same size, rather than cutting them all individually. Now, if you're a school teacher, chances are um, in your teacher's room or your art room, you have a die cut of a of a mitten. It's a very popular shape, and a lot of schools have that. So that would be a great way to get through this cutting process really quickly. And also, um, if you have the pre-stiffened felt, it die cuts a lot better. So I die cut these little hearts from scraps of the pre-stiffened felt as embellishments, and uh, it worked out really well. Um, traditional felt will want to tear a little bit when you're using dyes, so uh, it just helps. Or wool felt will work really well, but wool felt's expensive, and I wanted to keep this affordable, so I wanted to use just an inexpensive acrylic felt. And I also already cut out some the cuff piece from some glitter felt, which is from Arteza. Of course, you can use other felt as well, whatever you happen to have. So the first step is to uh, get your pieces cut out and then we are going to glue them. Now when you're gluing felt, obviously you could sew it or you could use hot glue, but hot glue is not the best option for kids. Um, you want to glue it so you are not um, you are leaving a bead of glue on the felt. You don't want to like spread it so thin that you don't see your um, your glue bead. I'm going to go right be right past the thumb here and I'm gonna put some glue right on the thumb because you're not really gonna stick anything in that area. And it's very important when you put your uh, second piece on top that you don't press it. You just wanna set it in there because what you want is for that glue to be able to grab both sides. If you press it, what will happen, you can, I mean, you can gently tap it, but if you press it really tight, what's gonna happen is that um, your glue is gonna seep into either side, it's gonna absorb into the fabric of the felt, and then it's not gonna grab. Um, the pre-stiffened felt does keep the glue on the surface a little bit better, so it should work a little bit easier for you. And now we're going to glue the cuff on. Now, if you want, you can round the edge, like the top edge. I think it looks kind of pretty, just to slightly round the edge at the top, but I don't at the bottom and you'll see why in a second. So the thing to remember when you're doing the cuff is that you want to make sure that you are not going to be putting glue too close to the edge because you could end up gluing your mitten shut and then that would defeat the purpose of it being an, a gift holder. It would still be a really cute ornament, but um, <laughs> but it wouldn't really hold anything if you glue the, if you glue the thing shut. I just want to put that on there like that. 
If you want it a little bit smaller, you can trim that off a little bit more. Make sure you leave some room on one side for um, your hanging area. I'm gonna put some there. Just make sure you leave like a quarter of an inch. You don't want that glue to squish up there and seal anything. And then I'm gonna put some glue over here for my ribbon. And I think for this, I'm gonna use um, some green ribbon. Green and red is your classic Christmas colors. Of course, I was using all kinds of different colors here and I thought it was really cute just to mix and match it, especially if you're just doing this as a winter craft um, because that makes a really uh, that makes a really fun project too. And I know a lot of schools want to do um, holiday crafts and holiday holiday festive days with the younger grades. And this is great because um, everyone can take part and it's not going to exclude any children. And that's what I think is wonderful because everybody's celebrating different holidays this time of year and everybody wants to feel part of of something you know nobody wants to be left out so that's good and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here so it will be on top of that ribbon okay again we're not gonna press it we're just gonna gently just kind of set it on top now if you do find that your belt doesn't line up perfectly then you can go in and you can trim that later all right so I'm gonna decide what I want to be front and what I want to be back they both look pretty good but I think the side looks a little bit nicer this felt actually was in that same Arteza kit there were a bunch of glitter colors and I thought that looked pretty prettier than just plain white so I used that um, but again use whatever you happen to have it's gonna work fine and if felt is not in your budget you're doing this with a classroom go ahead and use construction paper or cardstock it's still gonna be really cute it won't last as long but um, but it's still gonna be as fun to make and you got to do what you got to do when you're working with a budget uh, so now I'm gonna put a bead of um, glue right here for my pom-pom trim uh, Rick rack would be cute you could even use like a, a fuzzy acrylic yarn um, go look in the go you know look in your scrap bin see what you have I know um, a lot of schools get donations of different yarns and trims and stuff and you might find something that will work really well. So feel free to substitute so this uses up what you have. You just gently, gently, I'm not pressing hard, I'm just gently making sure they touch but that's about it. Now if you were doing this with young children you probably would want to just kind of measure the cuff and then cut your... Um, Pre-cut your ribbon if they're younger kids. If they're older, they would definitely be able to do that themselves. So you're the best judge of the amount of time you have to present a project with kids. And um, I mean, obviously you could just do this for fun yourself, but I just think this, this particular project would just be a really, really fun one to do with children. Or if you have a library story hour or library craft hour, this would be an excellent, um, excellent project you could pair with a book. I know there was some book that had, um, was it The Bear Snores On? I think that would be a really cute pairing with this. And there's uh, so many different, The Good Night Moon, I think there was a mitten in there. There's all kinds of books that you could pair this project with that don't have to necessarily be uh, Christmas themed. They can be winter themed as well. There we go. I just want to make sure that that is connecting with the white fabric. And that looks really cute just on its own. But what I like to do, because when you're um, when you're cutting things out of felt like this, you're going to end up with all these weird scraps that aren't really big enough to save. So what I like to do is go to my classic dies. This was just a thin uh, a thin die that I had. I cut this heart with the steel rule dies. The thick ones work really well with felt, and I cut a bunch of different hearts out of that so I would have them and I was able to just make use of all those scraps so that I have all these embellishments basically for free because you were just going to throw away those those leftovers because it would never be the right size for another project uh, so I think it's really wise to use your dies like that and any other little embellishments you happen to have kicking around they are perfect for this project so you could use like a little a little button you can take fabric paint and write names which would be really handy if you're doing this for a gift and you know who you're giving it to when you're making it or if you're doing that classroom project everyone could write their name on it or they could uh, they could somehow personalize it so they don't forget that it's theirs because well, I mean chances are if it's a kid making it They might make it to put some candy in for a brother or a sister um, But that's all there is to it. I'll show you these finished ones I just think they are so sweet and adorable and you know, please be creative with the supplies you already have This does not have to cost much money at all. I figured with like if you had to go out and buy the felt and trims um, Probably about 25 cents a piece if you're making a bunch of these if you didn't you know you know, waste any stuff, I guess. Um, but a lot of these are products that you would have 
anyway. Now, if you're doing this on your own or you're working with teenagers, hot glue is going to work fine. You can use a sewing machine, um, whatever you want to do, but I wanted to make this very kid friendly and uh, I hope you enjoyed this project. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Make sure you check out the video description for the downloadable templates uh, or you could um, just trace a cookie cutter, I guess, for if you had a big enough one. And I'll have a full supply list in the video description. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.